Hazel Johnson was born on January 25, 1935 in New Orleans, Louisiana. She met her husband, John Johnson, in her late teens, and the newlyweds moved to Chicago in 1955. It's there she got her involved with grassroots activism. She and John moved their family to All Gardens in 1962, but their wonderful life took a turn in 1969 when John was diagnosed with lung cancer and died weeks later at the age of 41. Hazel later heard from neighbors about others experiencing cancer and lung issues like asthma and of mothers in the neighborhood with high rates of miscarriages or delivering babies with birth defects. She discovered her community had the region's highest cancer rate and began investigating environmental conditions surrounding the neighborhood. Armed with the knowledge of the health issue related to the environment and determined to act, she shifted focus to address environmental hazards surrounding her community, which she coined the Toxic Donut. In 1982, People for Community Recovery officially incorporated as a not-for-profit organization and wedged the environmental justice war on multiple fronts. In 1991, Hazel spoke powerfully about her community's struggle with environmental racism at the first National People of Color Leadership Summit in Washington, D.C. It's there she helped work to create the seven principles of environmental justice, a guidepost still used today. She emerged as a national leader and was christened the mother of environmental justice movement. In 1994, Hazel was invited to the White House to witness the signing of Executive Order 12898, federal action to address environmental justice in minority population and low-income population. Later, President Clinton honored PCR as one of the country's top 100 environmental groups. On January 12, 2011, Hazel died as a result of congested heart failure. In 2015, the Illinois General Assembly designated 130th Street Hazel Johnson E.J. Way to commemorate the legacy of the mother of environmental justice. Hazel work continues today through People for Community Recovery and her legacy lives on in the community-led environmental justice struggles across the country.